Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Grace, Peace, and Balance podcast by Gabi Abdel Gadir. Today, I have this amazing, amazing lady uh, for you, and it has been a long time waiting, uh, and I am so happy we're finally making it today. So, this is episode 105, and it is Raise Your Energy in 30 Seconds or Less with Angel Marie Monacelli. Angel Marie, welcome to my podcast. Oh, I am so honored to be here, Gabby. Thank you. And thank you also for allowing me and having trust in me with your community to share my gifts with them. Oh, oh yeah. You are like everything. I I don't want to talk about it right now, but I will be posting her podcast, uh, her uh, bio. I'll be posting all her social media links on Podbean as well as on YouTube channel. And please do get in touch with her. She definitely is a healer to say the least, okay? So Angel Marie, just introduce yourself again. I know that I just read a little bit of your bio. Just tell us who is Angel Marie Monacelli? Well, who I am is a a female on this plane who's living a, a spiritual or human life in a spiritual way. Anyway, I'm trying to be funny, but uh, who am I? Um, I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. I have my dog, Shine. I am very honored to have two TV shows that I get to produce. And I do say get to because it's always been my my greatest is to be able to serve millions of people with the light. And then I also am a six time bestselling author and I am in the middle of doing one of my own right now. So um, I I've raised I was raised in 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 Phoenix, Arizona from six years old. And when they found out I had dyslexia, everybody threw me aside and said that I probably wouldn't make it through high school or make it to college. Oh, wow. So that is one of my stories, but we'll get to that, I'm sure. Yeah, I know. I, I, I'll I get to that. Yeah, you didn't say like you're a, ma- you're a Reiki master and you also do certification. That's news to me. Yes, I teach level one Reiki and level okay. two and master. I do teach in person. I do not do online. And I oh, do you not, don't know the online. Yeah. I don't do groups either. It's one on one. One. Okay. So that's like I have one coming up very soon. And it's a six hour class. Okay. So and so- I do a lot of online coaching with people and in person for because I am your personal energy expert. So I help you to understand energy, quantum physics energy, not necessarily just Reiki because that can put you in a box. We don't want to put anybody, but just about how you run your energy and get rid of energy. That's what I did. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's get back to your childhood. I'm dying to hear about that. (laughs) Well, you know, when I was a kid, they, they really didn't understand it. And when they told my mom that, that I wouldn't make it, and this was in third grade, and when they told my mama that, I didn't remember it like it was yesterday because my mama went down to me and she said, baby, you don't listen to her. You're special. And you know, Aww. to have someone in your corner that says you're special when the world is saying you're stupid and you're not going to make it and your life is worthless, your teachers are telling you that. You and that even thing? my father God rest his soul, but yet he used to say it too. You're just stupid. <gasps> Sometimes he'd slap me across the face because I could not get more. It, it, but back then they didn't know. They just figured you were stupid. So that was a very uh, discriminating. And of course, I was very small. I'm still small. <laughs> you know. And I was very small. So I got picked on somewhat, but yet... You know how I am, I'm very energetic. So it was challenging, but then fast forward and what happened was, is then I'm diagnosed with lupus, fibromyalgia, arthritis, and Sjogren's. Oh, wow. Yes, which is all immune system. How old were you when you were diagnosed? Uh, I had soldier surgery because I was in a car accident and it was about 17 or 18. Oh my goodness. And it is all through my family, everybody, everybody. And I do not own it. I take care of it with no prescription drugs. I take oh, care wow. of it with mindset. Yeah. Also about nutrition, about what I eat and also what's around me. Yeah. And then also the power of energy, not just healing energy, but understanding 
how quantum physics actually works and yeah. that it's a law of attraction, which is not a law. It's that's cause and effect. It's not really a yeah. law yeah. and understanding how to show up. So with that being said, what happened was, is I started to get depressed with, cause they were giving me pills at that time. Yeah, and I did. Yeah. I started getting all depressed and self-worth was way down. My joy was down until, until I started, I stopped and I really looked into the power of energy, the power of mindset and the power of nutrition. And then here I am. And now I help thousands of people all over the world for all these years, over 20 years, help them to step into their true passion purpose, but yet their energy and understand it, not woo woo, understand it, but feel it. And I can do it over the lines, which is so beautiful. Yeah. Be able to teach someone where's your energy? Yeah, you could go and learn social media or LinkedIn because you have a business and you want to be, you want to get yourself out there and you want this business to thrive, but your energy is not in to being able to be in this class. Where's your energy, first yeah. of all? I know. But what was the, the stepping stone for you to just move from that depressive state immediately into studying all this was it a book or was it someone who inspired you how did that happen how did the switch happen the switch happened was when i was in the car after the doctor said you're this close to having a heart attack and you're about you're this close and you've got to do something about your stress and you and your anxiety and you're previously diagnosed with all that stuff yeah. And I had a wellness center where I was teaching people Reiki and angel card readings and auras and crystals and chakras. And I was doing all this coaching on energy. And then he says this to me and it took me back in that car at 110 degrees in Phoenix, Arizona. I'll never forget that summer day where I couldn't get on the phone. I couldn't drive. I couldn't, I barely started the car for air conditioning, but I just sat and cried and cried and cried and said, no. No, this is not my name is Angel. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm supposed to be doing this light. I know that I am. And it really was a divine, if you want to call download divine it, intervention. If you want to call that. And it just was like, wait a minute. Let, let's just step back. What is the energy inside of you? Are you creating this or are you looking outside? And then I really was, okay, everything, I know that everything comes into this body is creating, my body is creating it. Yeah. So what are you eating? And then also who's around you that needs to go or the, the energy? And me about spending, it. Right. Are you spending too much time on the phone with certain people that are just really negative? I mean, I'm right. saying that. Draining I mean, your like, energy over the phone. Right. Am I, yeah. am I doing too much? And that was that. It wasn't just nutrition, it was also environment. And how is your house a wreck? Is everything in a wreck? That energy comes, everything has to do with every energy. Yeah. And then um, I'll never forget it because then I said, what is my mindset? My mindset is, is I'm not good enough. And I, I, I remember saying, I, I, why me? I'm not good enough. And then I heard, and of course, you don't really know where do you hear this from? It was your name is Angel. And it's like, yeah, come on, Angel. Your your name is Angel. You you are to you are the light. You are to do this. And I went immediately to my herbalist because I don't really go to doctors that much, but you know, I went then, but I went to an herbalist and I went to see him. And he said, Yeah, you're this close, Angel. You're this close. And he goes, I can see it because he was very intuitive. And he said, you, you, have to, you have to cook differently. I mean, that was the whole thing because I ate all microwave Junk. stuff. Junk food. I, well, we'll cook. I'm so small. It didn't matter how much I eat. I'd never gain weight ever. Okay. Still to this day. So I ate, I did. I, ate, I, I never cooked. I didn't like cooking. So I never cooked, you know, so. Yeah. That was my big thing is I learned how to cook and I started cooking 
And then I started looking into more nutrition that not to a nutritionist. And then I teach how you can take something like your water and say, is it wise to drink this water? And I go forward. It's like kinesiology. Yeah, so, I do. I, I, I have a certification on kinesiology. I know. So, you know, so your body. So then yeah. that's what I did as I started taking like, a, you know, like even an eggplant. Is it wise for me to eat an eggplant? No, they, there's, there's, everybody's different, but that's what I did. I started just dowsing on everything, everything. And to this day, before I even, somebody will call, like I, I'm going to be doing a lunch and learn next week in person. And when the person called, it wasn't like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like stood up, said, okay, they, you know, on the line, but they can't hear me. I'm saying, is this for my highest and best good to do this lunch and learn? And I get yes. So everything in my life, I started to connect more to the internal. And what happened is everything switched around for me. Yeah. And it doesn't mean that I don't wake up and I'm in some sort of pain. Cancel, delete. I don't talk about it, but, and that's why I do my stories every morning. I do stories. Yeah. Because it's like, and some days it's just shine, my dog shine. And I'm just rubbing on her saying, good morning, good morning, good morning, because I'm raising my energy, raising my energy, raising my energy. And the more that you raise your energy, the better you're going to feel because your brain oh, yeah. can only do one thing at a time. Yeah, absolutely. Fantastic. Yeah. So. And you started speaking. Oh, let's talk about your books. You are oh. six-time international bestseller. Let's talk. How did it start and uh, what are the titles and where can people find your books? Oh, thank you. Um, I so appreciate that. Is The first book was because this amazing lady saw me speak in front of like 50 to 100 people. I don't remember. And after I got done speaking, she came over to me and she said, an, uh, an older lady, and she said, I've watched you before. And I said, I, I recognize you. And she said, I give money to a lot of people, to a lot of organizations. I'm going to stop doing any of that right now. And I'm giving it to you. Your message, that shine message needs to be out there. You need to be talking about people raising their energy. You have to be kidding me. Nope. And I looked at her and I said, oh, okay. And she goes, you call me, come to my house. You're going to start. And then, and then, I said, okay. You know, I was like, mm, you know how that goes. You don't. Oh, yeah, it. yeah, yeah. You feel uh, I called is her. this real? Yeah. Yeah. And I called her and she said, no, I'm serious. Get over here. So I went over to her house. It's like an hour away. She's in Sun City from my house mm -hmm. to her house. And she said, I want you to teach me Reiki. I want you to teach me this dowsing. I want you to teach me how to eat better. I want you to teach me about health. And I mean, she just. And she said that I will pay you this amount, which was exactly what, you know, this amount plus driving time. Plus, I want you to get a coach and I will pay for the coach for you to start speaking. Uh -huh. Is that lady alive now? Yep. Nancy, it's Nancy is my, I am seeing her next week. I still see her and incredible. And absolutely. And then, and then when I went to the coach, of course, the coach says, you got to write a book. And me with dyslexic, I was like, oh, <laughs> no, you know, you, uh, you know, you get scared. Yeah, you get scared. yeah, you do, you know, viewers, listeners, you know how that goes. You start to go, oh, can I do it? And Nancy ended up paying for an editor for me and somebody that actually got me going. And I'll tell everybody, if you really don't think you can write a book, you really can. Why? And here's the key. Get on Google Docs speak it into the phone it will type it up for you i was just going to say that you beat me to it yeah now though uh, maybe 10 years ago that wasn't available no well yeah. no people didn't really know about it when i first did my first when i did my first book people didn't know about it yeah well and this one is shine is your first book this is the shine is my first book okay and there's shine my baby shine oh yeah so Cute. this yeah. one this one it was a labor of love. And my coach at that time told me not to put any Reiki, no energy, no Tai Chi, none of the things, the angel card, nothing that I do because it would not sell and I would never make it on stage. And I listened to him. So there's not, 
it is a very good self-help self-development and this is what i tell people to go to my website and get it from there because then i can physically sign it and send it to you with the energy and then i also take one and it's the senior giving program and i think you did that and i took one and i gave it to a senior in your name so it's a two oh yeah yeah oh that is so sweet yeah so blessed to be able to do that because i do have extra copies and I'm just blessed financially to be able to do that for people. Yeah. So So your angel, your angel and the angels are watching over you. They send me this nun, they send you this Nancy lady unheard of, like somebody who would do all these things for someone. Like, I mean, there are a lot of good people, but this was like incredible. Oh, it was totally a gift. And, you know, it's been over a hundred thousand dollars because I've kept it. I've kept a, a track of it over a hundred thousand because not only did she help with the book and she also, if there was any training, I was going to training in LA all over. And, and uh, she was paying for it. She paid for the, everything, hotel, everything. Oh my goodness. You're so lucky. God bless her. Tell her Gabby said, bless you. Oh, I will. And you know, and I always say that she's a blessing. And the thing is, is I'm, she's writing her own book now because I inspired oh, wow. Yeah, she's almost 80. Oh, and yeah. I told her, I said, I will give you that money back and it will be easy. Oh, be yeah. really easy to bring it all back to you, Nance. And she's like, don't, you know, don't worry. But yet it's like, no, yeah, it's going to be easy. Yeah. So that's about the first book and yeah. how that came to be, which is really for everyone that is listening. Don't ever think there can't be a miracle. Don't ever think that you're not special, like my mama said, because I could have gave up and never been in this place producing two TV shows. I mean, in six-time international, I would never have been if I would have listened to other people, but I did not. Yeah, your teachers. Mm-hmm. Oh, my goodness. What are the titles of the other books? Oh, the other one is uh, your, your Amazing Itty Bitty Book, and you can get that on Amazon. Okay. And I'm with 270 other authors. Oh, okay. You're a author. Okay. And of course, my word is shine. Shine, yeah. And, and then, then the, next, the next one was the spiritual fitness survivor. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. I, I have a copy of that. Okay. Yes. With Amelia yeah. uh, and Danielle on Okay. And then the other one is this was in the series, The Art of Connection. Okay. Oh. And they are here in Phoenix, and that's the Art of Connection. Okay. The one is just a, a quote, is a happiness quote, an inspiration quote. And I just turned in my next one. And because okay. this is a series, there's another one coming out in November. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. So okay. that I think I have the red, the red, the one with the red cover. I have that copy. I don't have the blue one, but anyway. Yeah, that's so incredible. that one will be coming out, and that one I'll be talking about transformation. Mm-hmm. okay yeah. yes and then That's- the last book is here in this this amazing lynn lynn murphy she actually called me and said i've always been inspired by you angel oh. and i would like to put you in my book and she interviewed 50 people took her a year over a year and a half and she wrote she wrote it after oh, interviewing wow. all of us oh wow yeah. that was a labor of love yeah absolutely yes and I called her and we're very good friends. She lives here. And um, I, I actually gave her a Reiki and coaching session last week. Oh, wow. And she, she said, I've had Reiki before. And I said, well, come to, and she goes, but I'm going to come see you. But I've had, and I said, okay. And when I talked to her a day ago, she said, I, she said, you just don't do Reiki. I said, no, I told you, I don't do that. But you can't tell somebody that I'm going to do this, 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 they'll get off Reiki. <laughs> yeah, I know. I seriously. And then do you do like uh, Reiki sessions online or it has to be in person? Um, I can do distant Reiki. So okay. I do that. People, people ask me that for a, a while. So it's like a half an hour at this time, but you must be someplace breathing and we can be on the phone together. A lot of times I'm on the phone and we just put the phone to the side And they can hear me doing some breathing. And I also do some shamanic work and do some other things. Mm -hmm. They're in the room or they're breathing with me. 
Can you uh, tell if that person has an issue, a certain issue, would you be able to tell? Would you feel their energy? When yes. you do distance one, you do? Yes. And you can tell them. I'm using like a surrogate almost like, yeah. you know, yeah. like I can, I can see their body yeah. and I'm working from their chakras and I do a whole thing. Yeah. Um, I don't tell a lot because a healing, you want the person to be able to feel and be in the healing. And if you start telling them things, then they're going to start using their mind about, oh my gosh. And then, oh, here's this and here. So I don't do any of that. I apologize. Okay. I don't know so, why that's going off. Yeah, I, yeah. Uh, I did uh, one uh, with a lady that I met through Bob Proctor, uh, the, the six-day in-person seminar, The Matrix. Uh -huh. And I did a session with her distance. She's like a two, two and a half, three hour drive away from where I live. And then we did a session. She asked me to lie down. So I lied down on the sofa. So when I lie down, I have a habit of putting one leg on top of the other, like my, 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 my feet, like one on top of the other. And then she can't see me. We're not on the phone. We're not on anything. So it was one hour session and she sent me a report typed a report and sent it to me. She goes to me, we're lying on this thing. She goes to me, you had your right foot on top of your left foot. I was shocked. I was shocked, honestly. Like how on earth would somebody know this from a distance? No cameras, nothing. You know, the reason why is because I can feel if your chi isn't moving and nine times out of 10, it's because you're crossing your legs. Oh. And people and women were taught to cross our legs. Yes. And it oh. is the absolute worst thing you can do for your back, for varicose veins, for your knees. There's so many things that are so bad. And that's what I teach. Never cross your legs ever again. Viewers, if you're, <laughs> you're listening to this, do not cross your legs. Nice. You cross your energy. Even when you're sitting down? Oh, absolutely. I do. 100%. I have that habit. I always cross my legs. Oh, my God. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Put a trash can in between your feet. <laughs> Seriously, you do. And then you'll keep, you'll keep hitting it. You'll keep hitting it and going, oh my gosh, because you have to break that habit because and also it is proven medically and I'm not, I'm not medical, but it is also that when you cross your legs, when you're eating, you're actually, it's harder for your stomach, for your digestion, for the food because you're uh -huh. crossing the yeah. energy in yeah. your intestines. I don't do it when I'm eating, but when I'm working, when I'm on my laptop, when I'm working 95% of the time, my legs are crossed. You'll find that you'll have more energy and vibrational field, and you'll be more connected with your headset, heart set, and gut set and running your energy when energy. you're not crossing. All the chakras. Oh my God. Okay. Because I yeah, you cut off the main chakra, which is your root chakra. Root chakra. Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. I learned something new today. Thank you so much. This was incredible. Okay, so this title uh, is about raise your energy in 30 seconds or less. Can you, can we do that now before we close? We've been doing it actually. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's do 30 seconds or less. 30 seconds or less. And we're just going to, I'm just going to remind everybody about the shine on pledge. And this is just a great reminder. And we'll go through the shine on pledge. Why? One is because we can, yeah. and it will help you to raise your energy in 30 seconds or less. Okay. How's that? Yes. So we go to the S and the S is about smile bright. So you smile bright. So if, when you smile for 30 seconds, you actually will raise your energy. If you held it for 30 seconds, because you'll start laughing at yourself too. <laughs> you I'm wait. laughing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you do. So the next one is the H and the H is heal with breathing. We all know that the breathing, you raise your energy very easy, but for 30 seconds, I challenge everyone to do deep diaphragmic. If you don't know how, please get with me. Deep diaphragmic breaths for 30 seconds and you'll raise your energy. Okay. Very easy. Then we have the I, which the I is ignite your laughter. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. I remember watching you one day and I was laughing like out loud. Okay. 
because even a fake laugh is still raising your energy and that's what it is so then we go to the end which is nurture your health you know our health is the new wealth it is absolutely so nurturing that is is putting yourself in a place of of being responsible yeah and that means is is do you need to go eat do you need to go lay down for a few minutes you need to unplug from the computer you need to get up before you just roll out of bed and get on the computer. So many people are doing that. I know. Yeah. And they're not even drinking water. And that's the big one too. Nurturing your health. I always say, drink more water. Yeah. I'm, I've been called the water pusher. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. And then the E is for energize your life. And that is the shine on shake. It's a joke, but it works. If you just start moving, yeah. just, I mean, easy like Dance, this. music, and, yeah. And then even clapping, it's okay, shy, shy. We we are definitely live because my dog is barking at something. And okay. just, just, just moving, energize, energize. Energize your life. Just clapping changes your whole vibration for 30 seconds. If you would just clap, you will feel completely different. And you know, you asked me earlier, what happened, Angel, that gave you that point where all of a sudden you changed? Yeah. And you know what it was, was I got out of that car too. And I said, no, this is not, mm -mm. it had 110 degrees. And I started moving and I started laughing going, wow, wow. I'm gonna close my wellness center down. I'm gonna close it down and I'm going to start getting out there. And then I, we meet Nancy. I mean, it was like, she yeah. says, and it, yeah so it was meant to be you just don't ever know and that's how you raise your energy in 30 seconds or less which goes right into my next book that i'm in process of writing which is called ignite ignite okay oh that's a nice title is it yeah, yeah it's kind of goes like with it. it's people say yeah. angel i want to find my energy i want to find there's no finding you never lose it it's igniting it igniting it my god yes Bob. so and that's the subtitle is raise your energy in 30 seconds or less so that you shine with more abundance confidence and joy and enjoy it the, and i'm writing it now and all through it it's about how do you show up and for your career how do you show up spiritually how do you show up for your health when you don't want to get off the couch and go take a shower but you feel heavy and, and not really dirty, but yet you don't want to go take a shower. How do you raise your energy in 30 seconds to go take that shower? Because you know what happens. You're going to feel better. Yes, absolutely. Or exercise or go or for a walk in nature. Yeah, you do that every day. I see you on uh, on, uh, on my stories. <laughs> yeah, on your stories. Yeah, I see you doing that. Yeah, that is incredible. Oh, my goodness. Um. We have a meeting coming up in 15 minutes, I think, right? Uh, the Connected Leaders Academy. So uh, we're gonna wrap it up, but this was incredible. I would love to have you again. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, and then uh, before you give your final word, can I ask you two questions that I ask every guest? Sure. If you had to visit three countries before you die that you haven't visited, what countries would they be? Woo, for sure Greece, because I am full-blooded Italian and okay. I've been to Italy, I've been to Spain um, and I've been to Paris. So definitely Greece. Okay, one. Um, I wanna go to London because some of my clients actually live in London and I, okay. they're like, Angel, get here. And I'm so excited to go. Okay, two. And then the other one is Amsterdam. Oh, one of my favorite cities. I just love it. Yeah. Yeah. Just be prepared to see a lot of surprises in that city. Um, that's why I want to go, because if you know me, I love to be in the adventure of life. And that's yeah. how I look at it. Yeah, it, is. it was different for me the first time I went. It was different. The second time I went with my son and I wouldn't allow him to go downtown because he was way too young. But they have the best cheese, the best beer, the best um, flowers. Oh my God, oh. their flowers. 
I don't think I have ever seen it anywhere. Like they, I always went August, September when I used to travel. So that was my vacation time. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so you're going to love it. Amsterdam should be, I think, the next, the first one. So those are choices. Yeah, I haven't been to Greece, but I have been to Spain, Italy, and France so many times, but not to Greece yet. Yet. Yet, yeah. So it's, it's, it's one of the things that I want to, when I would love to see some of the, Asian countries and African countries that I haven't seen. And, uh, you know, the, uh, like I'd love to go to Colombia and all this, Peru is one that I would love to go to. And yeah, anyway, yeah, but good choices. So if you have one dream that you want to accomplish before you die, what would that be? One dream that you haven't accomplished now. Ooh, that's it. That's a, the dream was the T to be on TV and have produced my own TV shows to yeah. still to have but the that, is, that. Yeah, but that is already you have achieved that any yeah, dream I, that you want to achieve in addition to that. Hmm. I, I, I feel like the dream is to serve my commitment to the world is to serve a million people to a billion people. Okay, a million, yeah. Okay. So that's a dream of mine is to reach that to many reach. people that's with the okay. shine message that you can raise your energy at any time and be kind. <laughs> I know. And that you really do matter yeah. in all of this. So I think that that's that's absolutely that is a big dream, and it's achieved. the way you're going, the way the knowing who you are. I think it is achievable. Absolutely. Thank you. Gamma. You're welcome. You. You're welcome. Yeah. And then, okay. So what's your last word for our last, listeners or those watching before we say my, goodbye? My last word is I love this. The one quote that comes out of here, which is about happiness. Yeah. And that's what I want to quote. And that is happiness. Happiness is feeling like you're on vacation all the time. Oh my God. Repeat that, please. Happiness is feeling like you're on vacation all the all time, the time. Oh and my that's God. my wow. life either i'm thinking i'm going to amsterdam i'm going here and you're getting excited or you're already there on vacation and you don't have to worry about work you don't have to worry about laundry you don't have to worry about anything because you're on vacation be in that energy that that's field cool. yeah all the time I'm, yeah thank and you okay oh my god it was a pleasure having you what a blessing i will remember that actually as soon as we do i'm, I'm gonna write it down and or maybe you should actually post that on Facebook and tag me with it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we'll that do that. Fabulous. So, yeah. So I'm, we're going to do this another day because there is more to talk. I'm sure about that. So uh, with this, uh, this is our episode today. And I will be posting, as I mentioned, her bio and her all her social media links on Podbean as well as on YouTube. Uh, download, subscribe, comment, like, share, because this message is so much needed, especially now more than ever. And this woman is incredible. I have known her for a couple of years now, and she is very inspiring. Get in touch with her, connect with her on social media, or just request a meeting with her. Have a chat with her. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, until the next episode, wishing you grace, peace, and balance. God bless.